Hello everyone, this is my second review of the C24 Digi Design's newest control controller. Uh, check it out. These are the new things that I wanted to mention. This, this, uh, the monitoring section is very nice. The only thing that I kind of don't like about it on the volume is it seems like you have to crank it up a real lot to get your volume, but you get used to that real quick. One thing that I actually absolutely love is the auto talkback function. I don't know if you can see it blinking, but it's a function that the Icon series has where you can set it to auto talkback. Whenever the transport stops playing, it goes into automatic talk, automatic talkback mode. Now, there's also something else that I found interesting using the Q system that's set up with this system is that a lot of people complain that Pro Tools is that you can't, the artist, once once a session is stopped uh, to a Behringer uh, eight-channel headphone amplifying system, and uh, and once the cue is hooked up to that, at all times, when a transport is not playing in the automatic talkback mode, the person can always hear me, and they can also hear themselves singing through the mic straight into the Digi Design A to D. So that's a plus right there, I believe too that's integrated into the system. Now another great feature that's going on right here is this thing, it's called the line sub mixer. And what we have is eight, we have eight channels, eight stereo channels of a line input sub mixer, sort of like a summon bus. So now what you can do is, supposing you have some synths hooked up or keyboards or drum machines or even drums. Now what you have is you have eight stereo inputs and you have a you have their own their own separate levels and what's also clever is that we have a straight to monitor button right here and we have a master volume for that. Now if I have something plugged into a line submixer one, now if we wanted to hear it straight through the monitoring system the way it is, what we do is we turn the volume up a little bit. We press straight to monitoring, turn the volume up, turn it, and then we have it right there, straight from the submixer. Doesn't have anything to do with Pro Tools. Now, the great thing about this is that you can use this as a standalone mixer somewhat. Not with, you know, no EQ or dynamics or anything like that, but we have something, we have eight stereo inputs that we can put straight to monitor at any time it'll go straight to our speakers and also there is a stereo output of this sub mixer if you wanted to record those things that are in that you know kind of summed up straight into Pro Tools to a stereo mix so that's a very cool feature now something else that I found very convenient which is also on the Icon series is that there are dedicated buttons for every channel that says EQ or dynamics or insert or send. So now, supposing I'm on a vocal track and what happens is if we have an insert there, all we do is we press insert and boom, automatically it pops up straight on your computer, which is, you know, that, that's, that's a great thing if you ask me. So it automatically pops up on your, your monitor screen. So now, and the other cool thing is it automatically pops up on these on the channel scribble strips. And so now we have soft knobs and we can EQ, we can do whatever we want. Everything is laid out right on those channels automatically. So, and again, if you have an EQ on something, you press the EQ, boom, all the buttons are laid out and you start using them. And of course, you know, you could you could press flip and use the faders instead of the like the panning knobs if you wanted to. And you know, I thought that's a great feature right there as well because it saves time not looking for stuff. Everything's immediate. And the insert the insert button that it has works the same way with the send. So now we could press send, press press which send we're looking for, and then we have all the sends assigned automatically. And we can use the knobs right here 
to determine which amount of send that we want going to the auxiliary, whether it be a reverb or compressor or whatever it may be. So these are some other cool features that I think that are really making the C24 really convenient. Uh, I've really had a chance to test the monitoring system. It sounds great. Like I said, the only complaint I have is that it seems like you need to turn the volume up a little bit. It takes a long time to turn the volume up. But I guess that's subjectional. You know, some people may like it like that on the increments. Uh, we have we have an alternate monitoring system. Uh, another thing that was very convenient when I bought the C24 bundle was the C24 Snake Kit. It came with 13 D-sub connectors, whether it be 13 D-sub to quarter inch or D-sub to D-sub. It gives you absolutely everything that you need to hook the C24 up to line level, uh, the preamps, uh, whatever, you, whatever you may need. Now, I've also had a chance to use the preamps, and the preamps are much better than the older Control 24. Uh, some people say they're similar to the Digio 3. Uh, I'm, I'm not positive, but they sound like they're right around the same range, but they're definitely usable. So don't think that these 16 preamps that are here are gonna go to waste. Uh, what else? Another thing that you can do, some people may not wanna do it or not, with the scroll bar, we can scroll through the channels if you have more, more tracks than, uh, if you have more tracks than 24 at a time, you can scroll through right through this, and this will change the faders up too, kind of like the nudge button. Uh, it, it just has everything laid out very nice for me right here. You know, uh, the masters, the transport mode, the file utilities, uh, like this is another thing, it's so easy. We press utility, and if we want auto tack back on, it's already on. If we want it off, we press the button, we exit it. It's that quick. We want to put it back on, utility, press the button, auto talk back, exit. So it's like everything is one button away from what you're doing. We have the Q. We have the Q buttons up here. We turn the Q on and off. We have our own headphone monitor as well. We don't have to use the Qs. We hear our stuff. Uh, the listen back mic, the talk back mic, everything has its own stuff. And of course everyone knows that it's outfitted with a 5.1 surround monitoring section if we want to use it. Me personally, I use stereo, but some people may find that as a great option. Uh, as I use the C24 more, I will definitely keep you informed. I haven't had any glitches. There hasn't been any problems of mine. Everybody knows the power supply is separate now, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem with this thing. And I definitely give the C24 two thumbs up on a C24 second review from Masterlink Studios.